going to solve this. Um, I'll just look for a few things to line up to begin with. I'm just going to reduce one of these. So. Make a piece like that. Now yeah, maybe looking for this one. That one. Put it there. So I can make that one piece. I might put the red piece on here. Um, I can move move that off of there to reorientate this one. Make that one. Put it down there. This one here goes on it, so you're looking for some bits for this one. So make this one. Make this piece. Um, we're going to take this one to match on top of that. Line it up with this one and pop it on top of that one. So now it's on top of that and I'll show you how I'll go about this next bit. I'm going to start by either joining this piece to this piece or this piece to this piece. That one just goes straight there. But with this one, if I wanted to put it on there, I'd just reorientate it. Put that there. Reorientate it so that it sits up in here. Uh, those two pieces together so if I move this one around from there to this side this that will that's moved this piece down from up here to there right uh, in which case I can join it to that flip that over so that it becomes down in here um, reorientate this back over so the blue will join up. Um, those two are together. So I'll reorientate this over to this side here. I'm starting to get a bunch of stuff for you actually. So I might just do that as I go. Um, to protect that a little bit. Bring this over here, reorientate it, bring that back onto there, and I've built that third one. And now I've just I'm left with the last one. You, you see these two pieces here, how I've been able to like, put that next to a colour match edge there. These two need to be the same colour across here if I flip them up into there. 
So when I flip that up into there, it's nice if I can get a colour match across here like that. Um, because it, when it flips down, it'll uh, when it flips down, then it'll make a, a section like that. I'm going to flip this one over to get that one down. It's my primary goal with this last edge is to is to match up some of the some of these bits and have get the stragglers out of there. Uh, so I might flip this one over to get the green down on this side. And then join that up and get rid of that. So I can flip it back over this way. Right. Get rid of that one there. Um, if I can find another green one there to line it up with. And get rid of that straggler from the centre. Right. Now I've got that situation where I've got just these joined ones across the top there and all the bottom pieces are reduced so because I've got two of these that are the same colour uh, orange and green and orange and green now I'm out of flipping between this situation where I flip that over and put it back uh, or flip that over and put it back. No amount of that will work. What I've got is a bit of a deadlock in which I need to break the deadlock by creating that situation that I wanted. The situation I want to remember is if I make a U-turn and these two are the same and these are different. So I'm going to use that to break the deadlock. Um, by flipping this over now I've got my two pieces that are joined together in the top and one of those is the same there. So I'll bring this one back <coughs> back over to there, line it up with that and flip it back. Now I've got one situation in the top that I want which is this one. So I've got my two that are joined together and those two are the same. Because I'm after these sort of blocks, these ones I can do something with. But the bottom, that leaves me with two on the bottom here as you can see. One there and one over here that I have to deal with. Now because I included a third colour that was the same into the mix, it's opened it up, or opened the situation up so that I can flip, say this one, over like that and that won't disturb any of these across the top or that I care about but um, I can just join these two up now as you can see and flip that back across so now I've got those two that are the same colour and those two that are the same colour. I'm going to do either one of these two moves now where I can make this or this move where I can make this and flip one of those two situations over just to change up these ones here and then I can flip that back And once I've done that, I've got one more here to flip over. Then my, uh, this is successfully reduced to the 2x2x4 two by two by components of the top half. Um, I'm going to swap these two. Right. Now that they're in opposite positions like that, 
I'm going to sw switch the tops of the 2x2x4 component with that sequence that I put on the thread. And then my cubes reduced to the 2x2 two two 